It's the final day of the Hong Kong Jewelry Fair and what's been touted as Hong Kong's best ever since the recession hit. Let's find out what the fuzz is all about. The item that was very popular that everybody loved when I showed to them is this, uh, this ring, which is called the ring cycle. Here is the gold version that also becomes a bracelet. It opens up like this and you push on the button and it opens a mechanism and you can wear it as a bracelet. So there you go. So everybody I got to show it to, they go, Wow, so you're, you're buying a ring and you also get a bracelet for free. It's not exactly free. This sets you back by about 6,000 US dollars if you buy it here in tax-free Hong Kong and a whopping 10,000 US dollars if you buy it on the mainland inclusive of taxes. It's these high-end independent luxury jewelry designers that are wanting to sell their products to the Chinese that have made this annual fair a little more special. That's why jewelry enthusiasts such as Grace Ho didn't think twice of buying a few for her personal collection. I like the finish uh, products. Very beautiful. Very motivated. <laughs> the new exhibitors this year brought the total number of vendors at the fair to over 3,600 from over 45 countries. They brought with them pieces never before seen, such as this Buddha carved out of amethyst from Brazil, worth a whopping 80,000 U.S. dollars. Or these emeralds, mined from Colombia, worth half a million U.S. dollars. It nearly got sold a few days ago, says Gamushan, but she's still holding out. The customer will call back. Kathy Yang, CCTV, Hong Kong.